Gilles Deleuze theorizes time and movement with the use of cinema. He essentially talks about how film puts movement into our mind, since film is something we as humans assemble with. We become unified with film, its editing, its framing, sound and movement. We fuse with these materials and elements physically, but also perceptually. Going more in depth, Deleuze differentiates between two basic types of cinema, the time image and the movement image. Films before World War II and most of commercial cinema of the second half of the 20th century, such as 1924's Sherlock Jr. and 1939's The Wizard of Oz, fall under the movement image. Deleuze explains that in these films, movement is related to centers that see, feel, and act, these centers being the main characters who act and react to their surroundings. In this type of cinema, Images and scenes are linked in such a way that shows how the events affect the characters and vice versa. This is also how movement is centered, which consequently makes time be represented indirectly, so every image in the film shows progression and the sense of time in relation to movement is linked. The time image, on the other hand, happened after World War II, when French New Wave and Italian Neuralist directors began to make films like Ebut de Soufflé and Mama Roma. Movement was no longer centered. In these films, the camera didn't follow the character anymore. Instead, it began to make autonomous movements. The shots and scenes were also no longer edited in such a way to suggest a clear progression of events. The characters didn't seem to be caught up in a story with a beginning and an end, but instead just kind of wandered around. Deleuze identifies three basic models of connecting movement to a center, through action, perception, and affection. The perception image shows through a long shot how a character or the camera observes the world. The action image shows through a medium shot the actions and reactions of characters themselves and between characters and elements. Finally, the affection image reveals through close-ups how particular developments in the story affect the character. Deleuze argues that we can no longer talk about the past, present, and future as successive moments, but instead we have to think as time as coexistent of present, past, and future. Accordingly, he defines duration of the whole as a virtual coexistence. The central argument of the time image was that after the Second World War, directors found ways to tap into this virtual coexistence by creating movements that weren't related to the center. All in all, the movement image was a subject-driven type of image where the centering is done by linking movements and patterns of actions and reactions. Hence, time is given to us through the act of montage. On the other hand, time image is created in a totally different manner. Movements are no longer systematically related to centers, not even abstract or imaginary ones. The duration of the whole can be found in the image itself.